Hi guys, this is Akshay Daga and today I will show you how to configure Node MCU. So this is Node MCU ESP8266, you can check it and I will show you how to configure it with Arduino IDE. I will be doing this on a Macbook but uh, you can follow same procedure for doing this on Windows. So these are the steps we will be following. First of all open IDE, Arduino IDE. First of all you have to install a library for uh, this board uh, just because this node MCU is compatible with Arduino IDE but it is not pre-installed. So first of all I will open new sketch for now and then go to file and then preferences in windows it is file and then preferences then you can see yet generally it is blank but if it is it is if something is already there then put one comma there and this link i will i will provide it in the description of the video just copy this link and paste it here i have already pasted it if already something is there then put comma in between two links once that is done you have to click on ok then go to tools then board then board manager you can see this is, these are the list of all node mcu boards i have already installed it but it will not be there in your case for that you have to go to board managers search node here click here and search node you will see this ESP8266 and then you have to click here select the latest version I have already installed 2.3.0 select that one and click on install it will take some time once that is done then you have to click on ok then what you can do that you can click on go to tools go to board now you can see these options so you have to select node mcu 1.0 esp 12e module once that is done then you have to check whether port number is there or not you can see port number is not available i can see only bluetooth incoming port so for that i have to follow these steps go to this link I have to install drivers for that. So I'll on this side you can download drivers. So since I will download for Mac, you can download for all other plat platforms. Download VCP. See, this is zip file. I will unzip it. See, this is the file for drivers. I will install it. I agree. then I have to download, install this continue continue I agree install It will take some time.
it will give one pop up see it is saying it is successfully installed so i'm click on close okay sometimes it gives pop up for first time it gives pop up i'll show uh, what to do for that you have to go click on this apple logo you have to go to system preferences then click on security and privacy see here you will see the name of the driver we have installed just now this is something different but you have to click on allow okay and that's it now we have to check whether it is detected or not see now you can see there is s lab usb to your uh, port it is already selected then click go to tools click on get board info see board selected as node mc 1.0 ESP 12E module, then it is 80 megahertz, flash size 4M, upload speed of 115200, and this is the port we have selected. It is not giving any output right now. Let's see. Okay, then we have to go to file, then examples, and you have to go here ESP 8266. There you will see blink. See this new. Cage has opened. This is built-in example for LED blinking. And I'll try to connect this uh, Node MCU using micro USB cable to your laptop and click on upload. It is compiling the sketch. is uploading right now you can see see done uploading then once that is done when a led on your node mcu should start blinking i'll show you you can check it here when blue led is blinking because of this code so that's it this is how you can burn one sample program you can this is how you can configure your node mcu with arduino ide and burn first program so that's it uh, i'll be uploading some more videos like this and some more applications with node mco board so if you like this video click on like button and you can share it subscribe it for some more videos like this thank you very much you were watching this video on Dumbox channel. Thank you. Mm -hmm.